Even if you're not building to passive house standards, air tightness is vital to ensure your home is fit for the future. I met with Robin Byrne of the NSAI to find out how to ensure you achieve high standards. So, you know, the so if you're trying to achieve a good building energy rating, how important is good air tightness? It's, it's very important. A good air tightness value leads to a good BER. And some of the common areas that lead to poor air tightness values would be around poorly fitted windows and external doors, as well as your, your waste and service pipe penetrations through walls, fittings uh, through ceilings as well. Putting in airtight membranes, how do you know that they're going to be done to the right standard? Well, the first thing you should look for is Agrimont certification, because what can happen is that the tapes and adhesives can break down over time. So you might get a good air tightness value initially, but when you're not getting the seal there, obviously your air tightness suffers. All of our membranes and tapes that will be certified for air tightness have been tested to last for the lifetime of the building for 60 years. We also have a scheme for the air tightness testing. So the person commissioning the test, whether it's the homeowner or the developer, has added confidence that the air tightness value they get is a good airtight value that they've used certified products and a certified tester. Especially in these recessionary times, it's worth spending wisely and going for quality products with long life and durability. There's always a concern that people will go for the cheapest product rather than go for the one that's fit for use or will last over time. And that's really where Agrimont and NSAI come in, in that we certify products against the Irish building regulations that are fit for purpose in Irish climatic conditions. Where we tend to get problems is with retrofitting insulation, where you don't have the same level of building control. And that's really where our registered installer schemes come in. So the homeowner, the person getting the job done, knows that they're getting a good product and it's being installed correctly. What about insulation products that are installed incorrectly? Well, sometimes you can have an insulation product that will claim that it can achieve a certain U value, but if it's not installed correctly, then it won't ever achieve that. So if you take an attic floor situation, you need at least 300 millimeters of mineral wool to achieve the U value of 0.16. Now, if that insulation is compressed down to, say, the height of the joists to put a floor on it, you've gone from having 300 mil of insulation to only 150 but it's worth bearing in mind some insulation products like mineral wool, they do sag over time. So particularly coming up to the colder winter months, people should be inspecting their own insulation and just fluff it up to get it up to the required level of thickness. Robin, heat loss is through a building. Tell us about where that you're going to get most of this heat loss. In terms of heat loss, roughly you're talking about you lose 30% through the roof, 25% through the walls, 25% through ventilation, 5% through the floors, and then 15% through the windows. Right, so windows, take that, that's quite a lot. Where are the problems with windows? Say take single glazing. Well, if you take the same wall area of a window as a wall, you'll have eight times the heat loss through the window. The market and the homeowners are being bombarded with different types of windows, all making various claims that they're better than the other and will give a better U value and a better BER rating. So that's where NSAI Agrimont has launched its Windows Energy Performance Rating Scheme. Now what that scheme is, it gives a window and the window frame assembly its own unique energy rating, like a BER label from A to G. Where can you get information about this? Well, you can find information on our website, nsai.ie. There's a section there specifically for the Window Energy Performance Rating Scheme, which gives a mock-up of a label explaining the, the various factors that go into creating the rating. And also you can find the certificates for the windows that we've already certified. The NSAI test and certify all aspects of building products. When it comes to building or renovating your home,